first up this week. Take us a little more seriously when we talk about terrorism. Oh, I'm a terrorist? We know him as the Good Samaritan in Hotel Rwanda, but in action thriller Traitor, Don Cheadle appears to take on the role of the baddie. He plays Sudanese American Muslim Samir Horn, an ex Special Forces soldier who's caught selling explosives to terrorists in Yemen. In jail, he becomes friends with Omar, a terrorist who wants to include Horn in his evil plans. Move! Now! Go! Go! But it would be too much of an image change if Mr. Hotel Rwanda suddenly turned into a straight up terrorist. Find out what Don Cheadle is really up to in the dark world of traitor. Next, from the underworld to the football pitch. The Damned United is the film adaptation of David Peace's novel about Brian Clough's brief reign at Leeds United in 1974. Michael Sheen plays the legendary coach. And although playing real-life characters is nothing new to him, Sheen admits playing Tony Blair or David Frost is well apart from turning into the football manager. Uh, you know, I mean, I've done a lot of films now and I've played a lot of famous people, but I have never uh, felt the pressure that I felt, uh, you know, doing this. There are people who maybe wouldn't be that interested in stuff that I've done before who come up to me and go, I'm really looking forward to the, you know, the damn delay. And oh, I'm really, uh, you know, and people within football as well. And oh, it's a lot of pressure because people are passionate about it. Uh, number six, Leeds United against the Muslims. Leeds! 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 Oh! <laughs> <laughs> There's been some controversy over the film. Brian Clough's family aren't happy with the original book the movie is based on. But you should decide for yourself whether this film strikes the woodwork or hits the back of the net. You knew my grandfather? Knew him? I trained him. And finally, something for those Dragon Ball fans amongst us. Final Destination director James Wong has turned Japanese manga into a live-action adventure. There isn't much to say about the plot, but it's got something to do with seven Dragon Balls, a bad guy named Piccolo who wants to get hold of them to destroy the world, and a high school kid named Goku with incredible martial arts skills who tries to stop him. Of course, he doesn't do this all by himself. He asked me to find you and to tell you that Piccolo has returned. He said that you would know what to do. So if you want to add a bit of magic to your TV evening, then find out if Dragon Ball Evolution works for you.